And we're back, Nocturnal Duck, with a brand new brew just for you. This is Mono Green, Ranger's Companion. Check it out. And we're back. And what are we trying to do today? We're trying to win with green. So classic green, we have the ramp up to what? Ramping a Nissa out as quick as we possibly can, and then ramping a plane wide celebration so that way we can choose proliferate four times and ultimate her as quickly as we possibly can. As soon as we ultimate her, we drop an awakening on one of the lands and it becomes a 12-12 indestructible. And that's the sort of cheese of the deck. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to be running things like our bark hide troll and our um, loyal companion here in conjunction with Vivian. So she's going to put a 1-1 one -one counter on both of them if they're out or one of them put two counters on it. And that's going to be amazing, right? He's going to get a bunch of, uh, he'll be a five, six, seven, you know, or whatever. And then he's going to be a five with the ability to tap and make him hexproof, removing a one, one counter and having these ramping bodies out help to be able to trigger that later if you don't have the land. So <clears throat> we also have a paradox, um, the evolution sage here. So we can each land, we can proliferate, which will proliferate our troll and our companion and all of it on Nissa lands. But a side note with this is if we have one of these out and we ultimate Nissa reasonably quick, we can go and get all of our forests, which is all of our land, put it straight into play and proliferate some stupid volume number of times, making all of our lands indestructible and incredibly large. So that's another loop that we try and set up. It's not you know if it happens it's amazing but if it doesn't it's not the end of the world so we can still get her out and then you know we have enough time to drop her prior to the ultimate so that's pretty much the whole run of the deck the ronus is in here literally just to drop and make all of our land six sixes but obviously <clears throat> they can be stupid size so double them all and give them all vigilance so that's going to win us the game that's the deck and I really enjoy this. I haven't really put a mono green deck together before, and this is probably the most enjoyable one I have played. So yeah, this is the second mono brew I've done for the set. I am doing a whole set of each color builds, for those who don't know, including um, colorless. So this is the second of the set. Um, I have enjoyed building this one too. Like uh, the testing has been fun, finding all the pieces to fit in. But, as always, if you can see something that I can't, then hit me up in the comments below and let's have a chinwag and fix it up. So, that's the deck. Enjoy the matches. Alright, this actually looks freaking good. We might be able to get to our plane wide. Not a big green player, so... I'm probably going to misplay after misplay with this deck, so just a heads up. I um, much prefer reds, blacks, and blues. I think they're my favourite colours. And I do like white, but only occasionally. Only occasionally. Okay, so what do we got here? This looks like Simic Flash. We've got our fourth land. So we can go turn five, but we won't utilise our Ronus properly. I'm gonna attack him. I don't really care about losing the druid. Three, four, five, six. We're one land off from this, so we could possibly go into. Okay. So do we put down a Ronus and swing in with. No. Looks like he's got some beefcake creatures. We'll see if he wants to trade. Don't think he will. Change out Biggles worth. Alright, so we're pretty set up now, so next time we can clean cast the Ronus and swing in with everything.
Ooh. It's also quite nice as well. But I think it's a bit of a waste. So he's probably going to block the Lanoa. Oh yeah, that would make sense actually. But that was a good trade-off for us. We're left with lethal, unless he can board wipe. Next turn we can play in wide celebration. Okay, so he's got to get rid of the Ronus, but we're still holding lethal, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty solid turn. I think I need more Ronuses in the deck, that's for sure. But let's have another round. Alright. Okay, so we got another pack, another core set. What are we gonna get? Ooh, a couple of shopping cards. I enjoy my shopping cards. Uh, boo. Okay. We're gonna keep this. That was a huge glitch at the start. All the sound effects come in. <laughs> What's going on? Oh lord. Gonna be one of these games. Ooh, unblockables. Pretty sure you're gonna be using them to block, buddy. Let's go damage for damage. And let's start making him use his blockers, uh, his non blockables, as blockers. Okay, so I think we can all oh, four. Go the bark hide. That way he's got hexproof. We'll get our damage in. So he's inclined to use something on this bark hide, so we reduce his power. Maybe not. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so where does that put us? Five. It's going to come in tapped if we do that. Why don't we get it to land out? I think that's our best move. Get in for six here. Wait, the race is good. He wants to put counters down before he blocks with that guy. He'll get his four damage in on the. Um, yeah, I guess so. The three, four, five. Not uh, four. Alright. I think we go. One, two, three, four, no, because it's, it's going to be tap still. Oh, we could have untapped it with Nissa. Far out. There's the first misplay. There's the first misplay. We'll still get our three damage in, which is nice. That's gross, dude. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I thought he was like gonna get rid of Nissa and then we would have been stuck, I guess. 
We would have got the big guy in. That was good. I totally didn't expect that. But um, I'm going to go and make a coffee. It's 4.20 a.m. So I'm going to go and make a coffee, get some caffeine in my bloodstream, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to have some more rounds. So stay tuned. All right, so I thought before I make my coffee, I will open a pack with you guys. So I got a core 20 instead of a spark, I know. Sacrilege. Now that's a nice shopping card. Ooh, my fourth icon. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. So I'm going to go shopping, make a coffee, and I'll be back. All right, so that kind of sucks. I am going to mulligan that. Too much land. Okay, that's better. We'll get rid of the plane wide. And then I'll uh, turn one. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. I get a moment of grace here. So I think we go evolution sage, or no, I think we still go to this, so we set up. We gotta set ourselves up, man. Now we can go into something decent. I go Nissa, hopefully. Okay, life gain. Life gain train. Um, I'm gonna get the attacks in while I've got them. About to gain a bunch of life back, so might as well make it so he's got to climb back up. What's the bet I get a Vivian now? Oh, angels. And he's just gonna block there, so we'll just... No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> no attacks. Jeez. The deck just wants to go. So we really need to get in a Ronus or something here. He's only got two lands. So he's kind of in pain town right now. Hate that feeling, man. So it sucks we didn't have a counter on our dude. Oh, we could have put him down first. What a what a jerk move. Oh, he's legendary, that's right. And we'll go with these two. Either way, he's going to take... Oh, take six. Nice. What's he got here? A Splendid Angel? Need his land. Oh my god, I'm feeling the pain. That's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so we'll attack in with these guys. So I'm going to hold these back because in case he can do anything, he's only got two mana. Okay, so if he misses a land here, I'm sure he'll scoop. I'm surprised he did not scoop. Yeah, 
He's gonna get a bunch. We're gonna get another land. That was it. <laughs> that was nice. It sucked though, because he was on two lands the whole game. I'm surprised he didn't scoop a lot earlier. Ooh, what did we get? And... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Sweet. This looks very nice. These two combined. All we need now is a Nissa. Another Rampage. This bar card could do quite a lot of legwork for us. He's going to be pretty strong. It'll be a 5-5. Five, five. There's our third land. There's our ranger. Okay. Cool. I mean, we could have kept it up to trigger that in case he has a removal piece, which is possibly likely here, but we do have another troll, so. Yep. And then tack in. Or not. You're gonna lose him. Oh. Did not want the life gain. Did not want the life gain, I see. So what can we do here? We definitely get this chain going. <laughs> mm. Leave him up. <clears throat> Leave him up for the mana we need. And turn. We're gonna just take what he's gonna swing in. He's obviously gonna swing at the Vivian, because we've got the ultimate next turn. Otherwise, but realistically, you know, I could have made them fight. Okay, so that's actually not that bad. Okay, so we shall buff this guy again. Actually, should we put him on him? There we go. And we'll bring down another troll. That way, if he has removal, he's going to go for one of these two. We've got a backup troll, so it pushes him onto doing it for this guy instead, and that's kind of what we want. We get one more land. I'm going to say goodbye to our Vivian here. Ooh. Maybe he's got Death Touch. Oh, I think we block here. Yeah. He's got a buff in hand to give it death touch. We can just trade off there. Oh, that's real nice. Nice. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, that was a rough move. Oops. That sucked. Getting now 10 anyway. Could have 
could have moved that blocker out of the way. I told you I'm going to have misplays in this deck. <laughs> I don't run green very often at all. Like it's occasionally, and I usually use it as a splash. I don't run just a dedicated green deck. I've done it before. Yeah, we won anyway. <laughs> Regardless of my misplays. So that's pretty good. It's going pretty solid. For a green deck, I think it's predictable, but they don't see such big attacks coming from the lands. Uh, nice, money. Alright, let's have another round. Alright, we'll keep this for sure. Red Calamity. See how we go against this, hey? See what this is going to do. See if we can make it through. Nabu. Nice. Very smart move. <laughs> okay, so if he sticks around. I don't know why he scooped. Maybe he missed a land drop. He started with a one lander. <laughs> one land start. Well... That was a pretty crap match, but I do want to kind of leave it there. I have a lot of work to get done. Basically, check out on my channel. I just dropped a new series. It is Road to Mythic. Uh, it's the silver silver rank um, for the first season. Our first um, series. So next series is going to be the gold ranked. I'm going to go from gold ranked uh, tier 4 all the way to platinum. Uh, in that series, so definitely check that out. They're short videos, they're sort of one or two matches mished, get moshed together. So that way you don't have to sort of, you know, sit through a half an hour video, 45 minute video. As much as that's amazing and that's the content we all create, I feel like just a little quick fix is also a nice little addition. So that's something new on the channel, have a little click and check. Um, also, like, subscribe if you like my content. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want to see or I could do better or fix. My gear is slowly getting better. I'm slowly accumulating things. The next thing on the list is a better camera, so the, you see my ugly face a lot better. And my green screen. My green screen has been giving me issues since day one, and I am currently in the process of ordering one and building it all up. So as soon as this all happens, it's going to start shaping up to be a little bit more of a professional feeling experience on the channel. Um, and I'm also looking at a few different um, houses. So if I move, which is hopefully soon, then I'll have a whole fresh studio set up and from there we won't have any traffic in the background as well. So I do apologize for all the background noise and I appreciate everyone's patience. Um, the decks that I am building, a little channel announcement I guess. I have obviously the ranked Road to Mythic as a mini series, but I also want to sort of clean up, do a bit of spring cleaning on my channel. So expect some updates over the next few days where I'll have the uh, all my janky decks in a little jank folder for you um, and a little subfolder for all my um, ranked, you know, decks, the ones that are actually competitive. So um, I am going to start putting some more competitive decks up. Now I have a quite a list of janky things. So yeah, expect some updates to the channel, expect some regular content. I'm still going to do my jank builds through the week. I'll probably do one or two janks and then I'll do a comp deck and then I'll obviously do the uh, Road to Mythic as well. So there's going to be a few little videos dropped through the week and they're all just going to pepper into all the little subfolders. So if there's anything that you like or you think I could improve on, make sure you let me know, especially with the channel layout. I'm trying to sort of make it as smooth as an egg. Um, but yeah, until next time, thanks for tuning in. Nocturnal Duck is out.